Okay, it's pretty dry. So, I like to use this um, circle stencil. Doesn't matter how it's put on here. So you're going to use um, the colors, some of the colors, or all of the colors, or whatever. But you want some, at least some of the colors that you used in the body of your envelope. So this part. Um, and I just use my finger and I start filling in some spots of circles. Don't worry about them being perfect. Don't worry, you want to go over paper, you know, part of the papers, don't worry about any of that. Make sure to not go in a line, you know, perfect line. Um, you want to really stay away from linear stuff and go off the edges. And just put a little bit in a few different areas. I try to stay away from these half circles in the middle of the page. That doesn't really make sense, but. Okay. Then you move it over. A lot of times you, well, when your um, stencil gets all dirty like this, which I love the way this looks, but when it gets all dirty, you see the color as it's laying there, and so it seems like there's more there. And usually when you pick it up, you go, hmm, okay. Um, like, I could add a little bit more in this area. But you're going to be adding more colors, so don't worry about that too awfully much. Okay. Need it more in my lid. And make sure you don't stay, you don't do the same, you know, circle in the same area. In fact, I should probably shift this so that I can't do that. put it back in the same spot and then I'm going to do a different color um, so I love this color and you do kind of want to um, wash the paint off from that finger that you used or you'll end up just blending I'm kind of um, hurrying. That's probably a bad example for you because that's the last thing I want you to do when you're doing art. Because the idea is that we're getting out of our heads where we can just be um, not nice to ourselves. And we overthink things and Blah blah blah, and um, 
if the beautiful part of art is in the journey, then it doesn't make sense to hurry the journey up. Um, but my camera keeps stopping. So I'm going to leave that right there and then add I'm going to, well, so my camera keeps stopping, so that's why I'm kind of hurrying. Because I haven't figured out my video editing program yet. Don't be afraid to do the big spots. And to kind of overlap. Remember, odd numbers are good. So I would do like three or five colors, depending on how many. I think I want some of this really pretty orange because that is pretty predominant. In the other part of the envelope. Just don't worry about messing up. That is like the worst thing for an artist. It's, it's um, probably the thing that holds us back the most. That doesn't mean you aren't going to mess up, but um, hopefully you learn by your mess ups and go, oh, you know, I, I don't really like that. Uh, you know that most scientists um, didn't set out to what they, um, you know, to find what they discovered usually when they go, oh, you know, Eureka, it is because it was a complete accident. Um, okay, I've got one, two, three, four. I am going to do one more. This purple, um, wasn't in the body of the envelope, the jelly printing, but I added it in some of the, um, on some of the leaves that I painted. So I'm going to incorporate it in here. this over, you're going to fill in with other paint. Um, so don't worry that, you know, too much white is showing. Or just don't worry about it. The other thing is, is that um, these are going to be cut up. So, and a lot of times with mixed media art, the thing can be cut up. If you don't really care for 
how it looks. You can punch it, use a little um, circle punch, and punch it into holes, or cut it up and make a little tag out of it. Um, there are all kinds of things you can do. Okay, so I'm going to continue with the colors that aren't over here yet. 